All right, you guys. Six o'clock in the morning. Just getting up. Thought that I'd take you guys through a full day of eating today. So, rise and grind. Hope you guys enjoy this. I am. Um, I'm seven weeks out from my show right now. So, I've got like probably eight to ten more pounds to lose or so. So, I'm still in a deficit right now. Getting absolutely shredded, but. Let's get this day started, baby. And there's no better way to start off the day than with a cold shower. So let's freaking do it. Honestly, I never feel like taking a cold shower in the morning. But you gotta stack your wins. A bulletproof mentality starts right now. I already won because I woke up at six o'clock in the morning. Next one is jumping into this cold shower. Here we go. Honestly, I know a lot of people that think the whole cold shower thing is cringy. I've even had people tell me, you're not better than me just because you take cold showers in the morning. The truth is, if I get up, immediately jump into freezing cold water for four minutes versus you roll out of the bed in the morning at eight o'clock and then decide to jerk off, am I better than you? It's only 6.15 in the morning and I've already done two things that I really don't wanna do. I already woke up early, I already took a cold shower. I've been doing this for years at this point and there's no better way to start the day because you're literally starting the day by telling yourself, hey, today we're not gonna be doing things that you wanna do. Today we're not gonna be doing things that make you comfortable. Today we're not gonna be doing things that are freaking easy. I'm gonna be pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I'm probably gonna feel tired. I'm probably gonna feel overwhelmed. But that, my friend, is a part of the human experience and that's what it's gonna take to get where I wanna go. All right, so for the first meal of the day, I like to keep things pretty simple. Ground beef, salmon, and ham. And there you go, guys. That's the first meal of the day. <laughs> Four slices of ham, salmon patty, three ounces of ground beef. Does not look very appetizing, that is for sure, but it gets the job done. People are always like, I have no idea how you eat the same exact thing every day. Honestly, I like eating the same exact thing every day. It makes me angry when people overcomplicate what they're eating. They're like, no, I ate that yesterday. So what if you ate it yesterday? You can eat it again. Your taste buds don't matter. Food is meant to fuel you, not be something that you rely on for a dopamine hit. First meal of the day done before seven o'clock. Now it's time for me to do the majority of my work and I'll see you guys again at 10 o'clock for a little snack. All right, you guys, so it is 10 o'clock. I'm gonna be having my next meal of the day. It's more of just a snack, to be honest with you. It's one of the Kirkland protein bars that you can get from Costco. I really, really like these because they're really, really high in fiber. I feel like they taste really good. A lot of people I talk to say that they taste like cardboard, but in my opinion, they taste fantastic. So I'm gonna chow down one of these, walk around a little bit. One of the most important things I do throughout my day. So I'm working back in my office most of the time, but I walk around whenever I get the chance. I wanna be getting 10,000 plus steps every single day. If I can hit 12, 15,000 steps, even better. I absolutely love it. The more active that I can be throughout the day, I feel like my mind is functioning better. I feel like I don't crash as hard. I feel like my energy just overall is better when I'm moving more throughout the day. So steps are one of the most important things that play into people's fat loss that they don't even think about. I always tell people, if you're ever cutting and you feel like you're lacking energy, Use that as a reminder to get up and move around more. Your body is telling you, hey, we don't have that many calories. We should just relax and lay on the couch. No, get up and move around at that point. Get your steps in for the day. All right, you guys, so it is 11.30 and I'm gonna be eating some lunch right now. I would normally wait to eat this meal at 12 o'clock, but I have an appointment at one o'clock, so I'm gonna get started a little bit early. So the first thing, this is an essential buy from Costco, the Kirkland Stir Fry Vegetable Blend. Now basically what I do is I mix the vegetable blend with six ounces of ground beef. I throw some salsa on there. I honestly don't even track the calories on the salsa. And then I throw it all in a pan and I heat it up. So I do about 400 grams of the vegetable stir fry. 
Switch this to ounces, and now we're gonna put about six ounces of ground beef in there. Spot on, six ounces. And then I'm gonna throw that right on there. That is what it looks like, and I will get back with you once it's nice and cooked. Usually while I'm cooking, I'll eat a cosmic apple. I track these at 100 calories each. And there is the final product. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna destroy it. All right, you guys, and then the next thing for lunch that I'm gonna have here is gonna be most of my carbs. So I'm going to do 80 grams of Quaker oats. Personally, I like the Jiffy protein the best, but this one is really, really good. I'd say it's a, it's a close third. I like gingerbread more as well, but the cinnamon toast has been really good and I've been eating way too much of the Jiffy lately, so I probably should take a break from it. I am also going to be eating seven rice cakes. I eat the caramel rice cakes. And the last thing that I'll be having for lunch is one of these 100 calorie Jolly Time bags of popcorn. So seven rice cakes, the stir fry, the beef, the oats, the protein powder. That's pretty much my lunch. And my next meal won't be till two or three o'clock. So I'll see you guys then. All right, you guys, and for the next meal, I just got back from my business meeting. It's around two o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. We're about two hours out from our workout. So I'm gonna eat seven more rice cakes. So earlier I ate the caramel. Now I'm gonna be eating the apple cinnamon flavor. So seven of these rice cakes, I don't like putting any fat or protein in my pre-workout meal, or I feel like my stomach gets a little bit upset while I'm working out. And let's pray we have a good workout. As the leaves start falling down And the shadows above the town I can finally see you now I see the fear inside your eyes I see the pain in your smile I can finally see you now I'll be 100% honest with you guys. I came in yesterday. I was supposed to do this exact same workout. I did a couple of sets. I was so flat, I just had nothing there. Just decided to go home. And then I came back and I posed for like two hours, but I just called it a rest day because I was so incredibly flat. I just knew it was gonna be the worst workout ever.
All right, you guys, just got back from my workout. I'm gonna save you guys a little bit of time and just tell you that what I'm gonna be eating for dinner is pretty much exactly the same thing that I ate for lunch. I'm gonna be having the stir fry vegetables with more ground beef, the same exact meal. I pretty much get all of the fats in my diet from the meat that I eat, so I'm always eating either salmon or I'm eating steak, so. So once again, I'm doing 400 grams here. All right, and then six ounces of the ground beef, baby. All right, you guys, so to end off the day of eating, I had another Kirkland protein bar. I had another 100 calorie bag of popcorn. I had three more rice cakes. Um, so that pretty much puts me at 3,300 calories for the day. If there's anything that I missed, you guys can go through and look at the MyFitnessPal logs and see exactly everything that I had throughout the day. It totals out for, let's see here. I can, I can pull up the total for you guys. So 3,300 calories, 250 grams of protein, 420 carbs, 76 grams of fat, 70 grams of fiber, and yeah, like I said, 3,300 calories. So some days I've gone as low as eating 2,800 calories, um, but I had to get rid of that 2,800 calorie day just because I was losing weight too fast. Um, so I got rid of the 2,800 calorie day, so the lowest I'll go is 3,000 calories as of right now, but I'll go as high as 3,400 depending on how I'm feeling fullness um, and recovery wise. So it ranges from 3,000 to 3,400 calories. Today was a 3,300 calorie day. Yeah.